This is going to be a video tour of the church at the Monastery of St. John in Manton, California. This is the exterior of the church. The dome that you see is the part that they salvaged from Point Reyes, the old chapel, and basically the church was about as big as the dome. And so they've expanded the uh, church underneath it. We're coming into the narthex and you'll notice the sound getting a little bit different as we enter which is really good. So we enter the narthex and we have this arched opening and they're saying eventually there will be doors put on that but <laughs> Realistically, Father Jeremy says it'll never happen. So as we walk into the church, to the right, where you see the lights here, will be a little uh, icon corner, and kind of like a little shrine. People will be able to venerate there. And then we're going to back up. There's the lift that I did the repairs and the painting in the dome in and this is one of the chanter's wings and then we'll come around and this is the altar area the two little windows sitting back there will go in those windows in the back of the altar and we're going to swing back around here and this is the other wing the other side of the church where congregation will stand and we're coming back around to the other side and on the left there's another little shrine and now we'll take the video tour of the ceiling here as we come up standing in the narthex we come up into the dormers backing up a little bit here this is looking up toward the altar and back around to the right you can see the four columns now. Two columns on this side. And the two columns on the other. And this is actually what's supporting the dome now. There's structural steel that runs all the way around this. And this large center structure is part of the support of the dome and the dormers walk up here a little bit and this is the dormer over the altar and you can see how all of the lines come down into the back of the round wall here and this is a little sacristy area in the altar and we're coming back around from the altar side and again the columns I'm back all the way against the back wall of the altar now and this is the altar ceiling coming back around to the other column and then the other side of the altar where the altar servers will be standing As we come out of the altar, a little detail of 
the dormer here. How all this ceiling ties together. And then the detail of the ceiling over the chanter's wings. Come back around here. These long, narrow beams that go back to the back wall there are also steel structure. Come back around here, the eight-foot ladder is kind of gives you a little perspective on how tall this is. And now I'm standing in one of the chanter's wings here and look up into this ceiling. And you see the high window in the dome there and then the opposite dormer. And a little bit of detail how the ceiling dies into the round ceiling of the altar area there. up into the corner and then coming out of the chanters area looking up and back toward the entrance and you can see a little bit of the detail how the that little keystone dies down into the entry area there And this is the ceilings get a little closer on this detail of the entry dormer. all come together. side of the columns here. And now I'm going to go back up under here 
and looking up into the dome at the very peak of the dome they had some water damage and so that's what the lift was for right in the very top that little black dot that you see up there is wire for the chandelier there's four hooks up there that the chandelier will be suspended from um, they will run chains and uh, to the center and then suspend the chandelier because you can't suspend anything from the very peak of the ceiling because it's all rotted out and back down to the altar And that's what I've spent the last 16 days doing. Thanks for watching.